Hi everyone, so today I had my Maker Team parcel arrive from DRK, drkcrafts.co.uk So I am going to show you what I got So I got lots of exciting things So let me take them all out of the box and then I will In fact, yeah, let me take them out of the box and I'll put them on the desk and then we'll go through them Okay, so I got some hook and loop adhesive dots because quite often when I make bags and boxes, sometimes I want a Velcro closure and I don't have any hook and loop adhesive dots at the moment. So yeah, so I got these. So these are cool. Pack of 20. I also got these, which I thought were amazing. They weren't very expensive and they're so cool. I like the size of them as well. And they're gold and silver, but they're really nice. They're quite small, but I, I like the fact they're small because they're more for me. They're more usable. Um, I also got some sentiment toppers. Again, these weren't very expensive at all, and these are always useful. And they've got a little bit of glitter on the merry and on the Christmas and on the stars. So I just thought they're quite cool. Um, I also got some necessity things. So I got some A5 adhesive sheets, double sided. Now these are great for if you're doing a die cut. So, for example, I've just cut out this um, die and obviously it's quite, you know, it's quite detailed. So if I and I had to glue these pine cones on, I had to glue, you know, put tape on the back of the frame before I'd put it on, etc. If I'd use an adhesive sheet, that would have made things a lot easier. Now, I haven't used DRK dot and dab ones before, so I'm going to have to see how well they die cut. They look like they're going to die cut well. I have to say they look like they're kind of tissue based rather than like a plasticky base so i will let you know how i get on with those but i'm excited to try those out i also got some a5 premium adhesive glitter card and i like the fact again it's adhesive so this is really useful for your die cuts um i'm also interested to see how well it cuts with dies it says it cuts on all major electronic cutting machines which i obviously don't have so if you've got a cricket it'll be fine with it but um, I'm gonna, I'll be interested to see how it cuts with dies. Usually their card's pretty good, I have to say. I, I do like the, um, I've got the double-sided um, glitter card. It's non-shed and that die cuts really well. If you're doing really intricate things, because it's quite a thick card, it won't, you know, it's not as good to die cut. But generally it's, it's very good to die cut. So it's good. So it's got black and white and I always need white. And being adhesive, happy days. I haven't got to worry about anything on the back of it. I also got this, which is a 12 Days of Christmas. Now, I've been looking at this for a very, very, very long time and thinking, oh, maybe I should get that. And I've never got it until now. But what made, what sold it for me was because I got the Little Red Robin and Friends paper pack. And then within not very long of me getting the parcel, it sold out. So I've got all this, these toppers and nothing kind of goes. So I just thought, you know what, the 12 Days of Christmas... It's pretty much the same kind of colours as the Little Red Robin and Friends. So let's give it a whirl. So I'll take you through from the front. So you get, they're all 200 GSM. Uh, and you get 48 sheets, three sheets of 16 designs. They're printed with soy inks and they're FSC um, certified. So that's good. Uh, acid and linen, linen, L-I-G-N-I-N, not sure how you pronounce that, free. Uh, 200 GSM, yeah, 6x6, six six. and this, they've got 6x6, 8x8, six six, eight eight, and they've got a 12x12. 12 12. So you've got the tartan, which has a kind of linen texture to it. Then we've got this dr little drums. Oh, these are nice. I like this. This is the first time I'm looking at this pad, so I'm literally looking at it fresh with you. I've literally just taken all these out of the box. So this has got gold foiling on it, which you can kind of see. I like that. In fact, it's not foiling, it's glitter. Mm, I do like that. It's nice. Nice little touch there. And then, oh, that's nice as well, the Christmas trees. And they've also got like a glitter. So where the tinsel is, they've got a glitter um, texture to them. Nice. Like that. Oh, yes. So your, your um, five gold rings paper with foiled, foiled uh, thing on it. Ah, fantastic. So great if you're doing advent calendars. Fantastic. And I like the fact they're quite small because quite often numbers are too big. So this would be quite good for if you're doing a small, a smaller advent calendar. I have actually got an advent calendar in the making, so I may well be using that. And then we've got these. Oh, so we're still single sided. This hasn't got any effect on them, but it's a nice. I like the colours. Do you like the colours of that? 
Then we've got some little tags. And again, if you get an 8x8 pad or a 12x12 pad, these will all be sized up. So if you want something slightly bigger, then you can. But I quite like this size, actually. It's quite nice. These would be good for parcels, um, particularly this sort of thing, just, you know, normal gift tags. Yeah, so that's good. So you get three sheets of that, so that's good. And then we've got this one, which is like a partridge. And it, it hasn't actually got an effect on it, but it almost looks like it has. So that's your kind of partridge in a pear tree. Oh, that's nice. And then we've got a font. I do like that. It's kind of a forest green against an off-white. Oh, I like that a lot. And on the back, so this is the start of the double-sided. You've got this kind of um, holly and mistletoe. And then we've got, this is nice, poncettia. Nice dark with green poncettia. And on the back, you've got this kind of foliagey with green. I do like that. And then we've got this one, which says partridge in a pear tree on the ninth. Dave, it's got all different lyrics on it, which is great. Like that. And then on the back, you've got musical notes. Now, that's really good because that's got no words on it. So you could use that for a birthday card any year, any time of the year. So I always like it when they do this at Christmas. Then we've got these. It's got a little Merry Christmas. And again, if you get this in a 12 by 12, these will all be larger. So actually, you could probably fussy cut them and actually use them as sentiments off from the 12 by 12 pack. And on the back, you've got like a nice, almost like a craft colour with forest green and sort of off-white stars like that. And then we've got the nutcrackers. They're nice. And again, on the back, you've got a stripe. Then we've got blue snowflakes, which are always useful. Love a snowflake. And on the back, you've got this really nice kind of, is it like a brocade? I'm not sure, but it's really very nice print. I like that a lot. Very nice indeed. Uh, candy canes. And then on the back, you've got red and white spots. You can use them in time of the year as well. Then we've got bells and poncettia. And on the back of that, it's like a plain red with a little bit of um, the musical notes on it, which, again, you could use any time of the year. And so that is that pad. I'm actually really impressed with that. I've been holding off because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I actually really like that. And I like the fact they've got the blue in there. So it's not just red, gold and green. You've got a bit of different colours as well. So I think that's quite a useful pack. I also bought myself some A4 Ultra Smooth White card, 216 GSM, perfect for stamping, acid free. I do like, I just needed some like decent white card. Okay, so next we have something a bit different for me, but I keep, I saw this a, a few months ago and I was like, mm, should I get it, should I not? And I held on, but I've decided to go for it. So first of all, I'm going to put this off to one side, I'll come to that in a minute. I went for these. So this is 3D fabric paints for use on fabric, paper, glass and more. And it comes in all of these colours. These have actually gone down in their sale at the moment on their website. These have actually gone down in price. Um, I can't tell you how much they are because I can't remember, but they've gone down. So I was like, oh, let me get some. So you get 24 and it says paints dry to match the colours shown on the box. So that's really useful because you know that the colours you're going to get are exactly what you're seeing on the box. So that's really helpful. So I got those, and then I also bought these, which are 3D glitter fabric paints. And I was like, mm-hmm, we could have some fun with this. So I'm going to be having a bit of play, because I've got some T-shirts that I want to put patterns on. And because I don't have a Cricut machine, I do have um, vinyl, but I don't have a Cricut machine. So unless I die cut them and weed it all out... It can be a bit, and I have done that, and it's good, but I have only got certain colours in the vinyl. So I just thought, oh, fabric paints, because I can use maybe some of my stamps, some of the less complicated stamps that I've got. I'm going to have, have a bit of an idea with stamping a design and then going over the top of it with some paints. So we will see. So I'm going to have a bit of a play with these. So stay tuned for that video, because that is going to be potentially very interesting. So, yeah, so that was my DRK make a team parcel so i hope you enjoyed the video let's try and cram it all in so you can kind of see everything um please go and check out drkcrafts.co.uk go and have a look see what they've got over there there's lots of different things over there and as i said they've got a lot of price knockdowns so um you know you might find a bargain on there you're very likely to find a bargain on there to be honest with you um but yeah so go and have a look these will go nicely with that these will also go nicely with that mm -mm -mm. um but go and have a look and see what you can see and uh yeah i will please like and subscribe leave a comment down below tell me what your favorite product is 
and uh, I'll see you all again soon.